to the heartbreak review today we're doing a different style of review going over boots so if you're in the industry or in a place where you need steel toe boots or slip resistant or resistant boots uh walmart you're going with the bram the brama the, the one with the blunt these would be your best bang for your buck boots now i got these in, in the raid form this enduro pro anti-fatigue uh, so that you come with these is amazing now I've got these about six months ago the industry I work in is a, is a distiller industry which involves rolling uh, empty 120 pounds full 500 plus pounds of a uh, liquid alcohol it's redundant but I got these boots just pure fact of they were cheap they're good. These are not this is my first encounter with the Brahamas, the, the, the Brahmas. I've, I've actually purchased their sneakers before with, with the steel toy in them. They worked okay, but then the bottom, the, the sole started to basically come apart on me. Now, this is the only clean representation I have. Because I have, this is how I'm going to do these reviews. I'm going to have I'm gonna have them for X amount of months. It's been about six months since I last purchased any new boots. So, let's take a look at where they are now. So, with my job, again, I'm rolling barrels. I have stuff landing on my feet. It's pallets. Some of these pallets are weigh 50, 60 or some odd pounds. Here's what they look like. <clears throat> they look just like the picture, don't they? They are... Hold on. Sorry. They are a spitting image of the picture. Perfect. Now, what? first I'm going to start with the pros. Pros price amazing bang for your buck steel toe great anti-slip it's there and oil resistant slip and oil resistant so if you're working uh, on flat surfaces that are fairly shiny like say a mechanic shop need something for that works amazing this anti-fatigue i can't see if i can get the camera on it all right there we are it's light these anti-fatigue pads they work amazing they take they take a lot of the shock out of your step now before this before this before this, these were definitely water resistant. Definitely, definitely water resistant. So if that is on your, on your, on your, it needs to be list. These were definitely water resistant. Not up front here, obviously, but on the sides. Yes, you put some mink oil on these, and right here, or some water re repellent spray. Amazing. They get your feet warm. Absolutely. Now. I'm going to look into the bad part, and this is what they look like. I didn't have any issues with these at all. Honestly, I'll probably purchase another pair if I felt like doing this every other six months. But, again, I'm hard on my uh, wares. On to the negative. Now, it could just be my job, but these shoes got ate up after about six months. For the price, yes, they're... You can't beat the price for twenty-two dollars. It's basically saying, do you want to buy a Corolla or do you want to buy a uh, a, a Forte? One costs ten grand. One costs four grand. That's basically what it, what it came to. Now, at some point, the 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 they just basically start to fall fall apart. I was in in the in the hot and cold of coming out of winter, going into spring, into the heat of summer right now. What? They start to fall apart, and when I say they keep your feet warm, they keep them warm. They do not let your feet cool off in the least bit. Um, what I started to notice too is that the sole. I started to run out of grip on the sole because we have a uh, electric pallet jack, and it's to test how how good the grip was in the bottom of the sole in the warehouse. Basically, you hold on to the pallet jack and let it slowly pull you. These would actually give out. These actually uh, give way. Now, walking on concrete, you get you got grip for days. Asphalt, you're gripping good. There's no real stitching. Oh, that's cool. That's another thing too. They six months are starting to fall apart a bit. Again, I would buy these if I had to, but they're just falling apart now. <clears throat> but I definitely got bang for my buck. If I wanted to save up money and get a different pair, I could definitely do that. And see, it's starting to also eat away at the inside of, of the sole as well so these are the 
Brahma Boost. This is my first time doing a something that's not food and actually usable. LOL. These are my these this between twenty three to twenty eight dollars. You definitely get your money's worth. That in that time you can save up and get you a better boot. But for the price, for for what for what you need it immediately, I definitely recommend these. I do recommend them. Would I buy them again? If I had to, yes. If I had to. But for now, I got another review pending, but that's for a later day. But let's spin my review over these boots. The sole I see I still have I still have plenty of actual actual uh, if I needed it, if I needed a tread, I get I get plenty of that. It's just they're just the the glue is finally I guess giving way to the sides. That is basically torn. I don't know how or when that happened, but they have worn down fairly fairly evenly. Have have the wear has not been <clears throat> overly dramatic, but it's just noticeable. That's all it is is noticeable. But uh, for now, man, I'm probably I'm, I'm keep them around until like emergency or knock around or something. Just like go outside if I need to do some yard work or mechanic work, whatever stuff like that. Definitely worth the buy at least once or twice until you get some money saved up. Uh, definitely comes in the pinch. Are fairly lightweight and stylish. They're not punctured. Lastly, they're not punctured resistant on the bottom, so avoid nails like the plague. And um. That is really all I have. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave your comment down below in the comment section. I think this should be the right way to hold the camera. I think so. I apologize if, if, if you notice it's been flipping back and forth. But definitely for, for the buy, for the price, you can't beat it. Buy them again, once or twice, that's it. After that, save up and get you some, something more durable. Uh, that's all I have for this review again. If you have any comments, leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you want, if you do, if you enjoyed videos like this or have suggestions for for more videos, leave leave a comment down below. Hit that bell notification, and if you if you if you enjoy my content, uh, subscribe to the channel. It does help me, and I'm steadily trying to make better with these reviews. I uh, reckon that's all I have for y'all. Um, we'll catch you later. Thank you. Oh, and also, from what I've seen lately, they do have a female version. Where basically these are pink. There's the so these are pink. The, the, it's like the black and pink accents on shoelaces. The boot is black and it has like instead of brown, it's like pinkish. So if you want to be frilly or frou frou with it, go for it. But thank you, and y'all have a nice day. Goodbye.